Welcome to yet another exciting class. Today our learning targets are I can review sounds and different spelling. I can read and write words with the O spelling. And I can create a planning page for my narrative writing. Now let's review vowels and consonant spellings we have learned so far. Remember in grade 1? Unit 1, we've been learning sounds, and without the sounds, you will be able to pronounce words, and you won't be able to spell words properly. So we have the f sound, the f, 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 f sound, as in stuff, f, stuff, stuff. And we have the sound, the sound, the s sound as in dress, dress. Dress. We have the z sound, z, 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 as in booze, and we have the ch sound, as in chin, ch, chin. We have the sh sound, sh, 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 as in shop. We have the th, th, th. It's not pronounced d. It's pronounced th. Th, th. The, vo the consonant diagraph th came together to form the sound th. So th as in thin. And we have th again as in them. Them. Now we have ng. Ng. Here is the ng sound. Now this ng sound is present in the word sing or ring. Sing or ring or rang or sang or sung or king. So the unk sound is present in the words I just gave you. Now we have the q sound as in quit. Quit. We have the k sound as in black. Black. K. Black. We have the e sound as in eth. Eat, eat, and we have the o oh sound as in hop, o, oh, hop. We have the e sound as in pet, e, pet, e, pet. We have the a sound as in pat. It's also present in flat, heart, clap. And snap ah part flat heart clap and snap we have the or sound as in board board umbrella board umbrella and we have cake the a sound as in cake the a sound is present in Cake. Now, some other words that the A sound is present in is take, make, till. Now, the A sound as in cake, a cake. The vowel diagraph I and E, which is E and E, came together to form the sound I, I. I as in bite or kite. Bite or kite. Now we have the O sound as in home or toe. Home or toe. We have the U sound as in cute. Cube. Mute. Flute. The U sound as in cute cube use mute and flute now we have the e sound the e sound is present in the word b or seed or c b 
seed or see or keep. Now, this is the E sound. Tricky words. Like I said before, I said tricky words are words that do not play by the rules. They don't follow the rules. Now, we have some tricky words. We have because, because, because. I like apples because they are crunchy. I know you love apples. Now, I, there's this saying that goes, an apple a day keeps you away from the doctor. I hope you take apple every day. Well, I like apple because it's crunchy. You could say, I like apple because it keeps me away from the doctor. Now, copy this word on an index card and underline the tricky part of the word. Now, the tricky part of this word is e curse. Be cut. Dictation. Please take out a pencil and a piece of paper and I'm going to say some words. After I say the words, you will write it on your paper. I will say each word twice and will sound it out slowly. So, number one is moon. 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 The moon is up in the sky. Moon. Now we have number two, zoom, zoom. She zoomed the camera. She zoomed the camera. Number three is spoon, spoon. I eat with a spoon. I eat with a spoon. Number four is pook, spook, spook. Number five is zoo, zoo. There are lots of animals in the zoo. There are lots of animals in the zoo. Number six, we have smooth, smooth. Remember, th, th, s, m, u, th, smooth. So we have number seven, boots, 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 boots. Number eight, we have noon, noon, noon. She came to our house at noon. Number nine, we have room, room. Room. I sleep in my room. Number 10, we have broom. 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 I love sweeping with a broom. Now, as you can see, that all this word contain the O sound spelled O O. Now, for each sound you hear, Draw a line on your paper. For example, we have broom, B-R-O-O-M. Draw a line identifying or indicating each sound. It's just like you segmenting the word. So this is what you're going to do. Remember I said in our learning targets that we are going to learn how to plan a writing piece. Or a writer narrative now we are looking at fictional narrative planning we are going to be working on a writing project when we write we go through different stages and this stages or this step is called the writing process this stage is called the writing process now we have four writing processes we have the planning process the drafting process the editing process and the publishing process again we have the planning process we have the drafting process we have the editing process and the publishing process now let me make it easy plan draft edit and publish plan draft edit and publish plan draft edit and publish now today we'll be working on the first step in the writing process which is the planning process plan now when we plan we think about 
brainstorming ideas we think about something to write about you can't just start writing without having an idea what to write about you understand so when we think about the story we read yesterday to and we tell we we need to retell the story if you want to retell the story it means that you already have something to write about so this is called a narrative now a narrative retells events of a story in order it includes details about what happened in a story a narrative retells events of the a story in order now it includes details about what happened in a story open your worksheet 2.1 and let's try and draft or sorry plan let's just let's not be fussing on our shadows let's plan what we are going to write about now when planning you put things into consideration first of all you need to know the name the name of what you're writing about the title the name of the tale is the title of the story or fable now the title is written on a bold letter you write it with a bold letter it's written in bold at the top of the first page of each tale so when you're writing or when you try to plan where you're planning you first of all list down the title of what you're writing about of course you need to know what you want to write about so it should have a title now this title should also be a catchy it can be a catchy title whereby people will look at what they'll see because your book is because the title is very interesting they'll be like okay i need to read what you're writing about so the title should be very very interesting it's just like me saying the hot dog yes you see it's a very very interesting topic now we need to know who are the characters who the characters are in whatever you're going to write about who are the characters in the story we will just list their names you can list out the names of the characters in the story now we have where where did the character take place which is what where did the character take place the the setting is more like where the character where the 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 action of the story took place where did the action where did the um characters uh where did the character surface or where did the action take place and this is called what the setting a place where a story takes place is called the setting now once they're where at the beginning what happened at the beginning of the story now every story should have the beginning the middle and the ending once again every story or every written piece should have a beginning a middle and the end so what next happened like i said before the story should have beginning middle and end so first of all you write the beginning of the story what happened at the beginning what happened in the middle of the story and what happened at the end of the story now in our last lesson we will use a story map to help you rewrite the story thank you for having an amazing time with me i remain your teacher miss sharon have a wonderful day bye